All right, Shalom. All well, praise to you, how about Shami Yahweh Shai? The one that's to the apostles at Great Millstone. Uh, this video, I'm gonna get straight to the point. Um, basically, uh, it's a it's a game clip I'm gonna play, and in this clip, you know, it, it's basically gonna show you how Esau pretty much uses the Bible to make his games, videos, movies, uh, plays you know, and all types of different forms of media. Uh, I'm going to go into it. Uh, but this is just one example. And note that the game's called Legacy of Cain. Which when you go in the Bible, you've got uh, Cain and Abel. And it's basically about that story, Jacob and Esau, and then um, predestination. So I'll, I'll play the clip. Girl, I did not fathom the true power of knowledge. To know the future, Raziel. To see its paths and streams tracing out into the infinite. As a man, I could never have contained such forbidden truths. But each of us is so much more than we once were. Do you not feel with all your soul how we have become like gods? As well, by the way, that's in the scriptures. The scripture says, uh, ye are gods. But this is this guy in the reds, Cain, funny enough. Yeah. Are we not indivisible? As long as a single one of us stands, we are legion. Our futures are predestined. Mobius foretold mine eons ago. We each play out the parts fate has written for us. Free will is an illusion. Why well, you said that basically our roads are predestinated and free will is an illusion. And um, that's in the scriptures. I'm going to get the scriptures on that. Cause when you and I'm gonna prove, I mean, some of the things he said, you, you know, he, he, some of the things he said is in the scriptures. Like, they got it from the scriptures, man. That our roads, everything we do, is pretty much predestinated by your by the Lord. And when you check out the story of these two individuals, you find out that um, this dude Cain, he um, cut the wings off. Of this guy Raziel, which I know that's a Hebrew word there, man, because the word Al means power. You got a word Jazariah, which means the seed of the um, power, um, and you got an angel called Raphael. So you know it's obviously Raziel is obviously a Hebrew word. I ain't looked it up, but that just shows you, man, because the, the in there they got Ariel, they got ain't names of angels and stuff. But basically, this guy was is fascinated. He got this knowledge, this cane dude in the red cloak. Um, and um, he basically is trying to um, rule the realm. So he killed this dude uh, that you see, Raziel. And he, he I found the you know, of Saraphat King. He killed him. How could you profane a priest by turning him into a vampire? Right, so that guy Razael's mad because he's pretty much um, he was they called him Seraphim. Now I'm not trying to get too much into the game, but I'm just trying to um, just make a point. <coughs> Pardon, excuse me. Um, I'm not. Yeah, like I said, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to get too into the the, the game, you know, because it's a fucking game. But what I am trying to do is just make a quick point. Here. Which I'm gonna back it up and just let me just play the clip so I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> so the like he spoke, he said the like that. Well, he this he, he's pain. Kind of gets mad at Razael because he's got the wings. So he kills him. He basically cuts his wings and kills him. You know, he throws him into. He kills him, man. When you go and read the scriptures, Cain killed Abel. You know. And then you got Curse, the Curse of Cain. Another thing about this, this dude Cain, in the game, he's, he's got a curse, he's caught, he's, he's, Cain is cursed, he's got the Curse of Cain in the game. You know? Now this game came out years ago, man. So basically, he's supposed to die forever, but he didn't die, you know what I mean? In, in, in the thing, he comes back and he's trying to overthrow this 
same dude. Tumbling, burning with white hot fire. Anyway, let me go into the scriptures, man. Because like I said, Esau gets these concepts. First of all, let me deal with the predestination thing. Because that's straight out of the scriptures. Uh, let me start with this. This is 1 Corinthians 2 and 6. How be, it, how be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not, not the wisdom of this world, nor the princes of this world that come to naught, which Esau is actually the prince of this world now, which Esau is Cain in the reincarnation. Right? We speak the wisdom of the Lord, man, that he gave unto his servants, which are Israelites, the elect. It says, but we speak the wisdom of the Most High, Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai in a mystery, even the hidden hidden wisdom, which the which the Yahweh ordained before the world unto our glory. So this was already preordained. Everything that's happened, and us getting this wisdom and condemning Esau at the end was preordained. The story of Jacob and Esau, Esau, even Cain and Abel, Cain killing Abel, which the word Cain is Quran Kayan or which means weapon. And if you check it out, Esau got given the blessing of the of the sword. So there's a struggle between the so-called white man and the so-called black man, if you will, Esau and Jacob. And that's what's going on on the planet. And um, that was all preordained, man. What bef So the Lord already set this up. But we speak the wisdom of the Most High and the mystery, even the hidden wisdom, which God ordained before the, before the world unto our glory. Get the next scripture, Ephesians 1 and 5. Because the guy said, he said it in the clip, he said, yes, you know, our free will is a lie. He said free will is a lie. He said our, our destinies are preordained. So he so their fight, it was struggling for power, them two. And he already knows what's going on. So, so that proves that Esau, the elites, know what's going on. They know what's going on. And I'm going to show you that because even the, People that made this game said the base it off the Bible, man. For you people that are gonna say, "Oh, oh, it's just a game." Well, what, 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 what? I, I will show you that. Yeah, it's just a, yeah. I know it's just a game. I don't, you know, but that's not the point. Ephesians one and five, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shai to Himself, according to the good pleasure of His will. So the Lord predestinated. Everything is predestinated, man. It's all the Lord's, the Lord's um, plan. You know, it's the Lord's, it's the Lord's, um, it's the Lord's play, man. If you will, to the praise of the glory of His grace, wherein He have made us accepted in the beloved. So you don't make yourself, you don't, you don't make yourself of the elect. You don't, you ain't writing the scripts. We're playing the scripts out. Then you got vessels unto righteousness. And vessels onto unrighteousness, like that, like that, like that clip showed you. That dude killed the Razael Giza because he just was jealous of him growing them wings. You understand what I'm saying? That's why he killed him. If you, you know, and Esau got mad about us getting the blessing. He sold the blessing over to because he's, he's a low, he's low anyway. You know, and Esau ain't got no integrity anyway, but Esau's trying to get that blessing back. And that's what that, another thing that that thing shows you, he killed him so he could do away with the dude. And he's trying to rule and all of that sort of stuff. It says, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to, according to the richness of his grace. Um, The 11th verse has got another... When we, wherein he have abounded toward us in all wisdom and prudence, which is the elect, having made known unto us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure. So the Lord, you don't wake your ass up. The Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, wakes you up and gives you wisdom. You know, you got a lot of Israelites out here that don't know what the hell is going on. Because they got blinded by an angel. <laughs> and that's in the book of Isaiah. It says, which you have perpet which he have purposed in himself. So a lot of you don't know that you're Israelites, you don't know that you're the princes of the Lord, and then you got people amongst Israel 
They ain't got the Lord's mysteries. They ain't speaking his words, i.e. Mark of the Beast and stuff like that, which is the RFID. So that in the dispensation of the fullness of times, you might gather together all together in one, all things in Yahweh Shai, both which are in heaven and which are on earth, even in him, uh, in whom also we have ordained an inheritance, being predestinated, See, they even use that word according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own own will. So we're all pawns of the Lord, man. And and Esau knows that. The Rothschilds, they, they're trying to get, they're trying to mirror the blessings. They're trying to give themselves the blessings of the um of the kingdom, which the blessings is not for them. You understand that? I got more scriptures. Let me let me go to the inform let me go to the information here. This is um Wikipedia. This is and this is a game, it's called the Legacy of Cain, mate. Um nineteen ninety six. So it's quite old, you know. Uh it says Well, here it says, um, that's the guy's name, Raziel. Uh, and it says, um, themes of destiny, free will, morality, redemption, which he said there ain't no free will. So it's inspired by ancient literature, horror fiction, Shakespeare's plays. So Esau, when he makes these things, he reads, Esau's into history. Esau's into history. Ancient literature, Esau's into history. Okay, let me... Scroll down if you can see it where it says uh it's at the bottom where it says where it says a fictional land highlighted designed with novel like complexity and gives the player control of Cain, a newly resurrected vampire seeking revenge against his murderers and a cure for his vampire curse, so he's cursed. But anyway, the point I wanted to get here is here where it says Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver was released in 1999 for the PlayStation and Microsoft Windows and was ported to the Dreamcast in 2000. It originated as, a, as an independent concept inspired by biblical themes. Okay. Called Sifter. So there you go. They're telling you themselves that they made the game based off biblical themes. And that's what Esau does. you got post-apocalyptic movies. You've got eschatology you got you got movies you got futuristic movies and there's a lot of movies with a chip in it RFID with an RFID biometric chip you know you know there's a lot there's a lot of things out there that Esau does that alludes to this truth because Esau knows what's going on man Esau wants to rule the world the, the new world order quotes show you that we want a new world order. We want to rule. They want to do away with Jake and take Jake's blessing. Titus 1 and 1. Paul, a servant of of the Most High, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, and an apostle of Yahweh Shai, according to the faith of God's elect and the acknowledging of the truth which is after godliness in hope of eternal life, which which the most High that cannot lie promised before the world began. So you already set this up from the beginning. We're just playing it out, bro. We're just playing it out. And like I said, the guy in the clip said that. And I'll play the clip again. Just to just to hold me in on that. And there's men, I've got this moment, there's a load, whole load of scriptures that I could get out. Romans 9 and 9. For this is the word of promise, as this time will I come and Sarah shall have a son. And not only this, but when Rebecca also had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac. And the reason why I got it like this is so, when I edit it, it can look big. Because I got it from doing it on the phone. For the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of the Most High, according to the election, might stand, not of works, but of him that calleth. So, that's showing you there that, he was 
already before Esau and Jacob were born. Before they had done any good and evil, it was right, it was sanctioned who was gonna be the vessel unto Anna and who's gonna be the wicked vessel. And it tells you that when you read further up. That the Lord's purpose might So even in the thing the guy says, Look, after it, he says, Oh, um, basically you almost stopped me, but before what the end that is supposed to end plays out, um, there's more things that are supposed to play out, so the guy escapes. So that dude, that Cain dude that was had in the head in the top of that temple that you gotta find, he knows his stuff, he knows there's no free will. He said that he was even showing um Razael the time and he was saying to the dude, Look, man, that you 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 looking at that's the what you was looking at is the future and we just play the future out. But uh, basically he you find that he tries to manipulate the future because he wants to rule. And that ain't that what Esau wants to do. Esau, we know that the Lord is coming a pursuance of Revelations 19 to, to destroy and take the crowns of Esau and all these other nations. But Esau is going to try and fight the Lord and stop him. Because Esau knows what's going on. He knows that he knows that the Lord is coming back, man. Romans 9 and 12, it was said unto her that elder shall serve the younger. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. And that was already set up, man. That was already set up, and Esau just played it out. Because that's who he is. He's the, he's the unrighteous vessel. So the scripture says, what shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid. So you can, because he did that, because he made Esau wicked and hates Esau. Can you say, oh, well, well, God ain't right for doing that. For he saith to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And I will have compassion on whom I will I will have compassion. So it's all predestinated. The Lord is a is the is runs the show. Okay, and that's that's the point. That's the point. And like I said, these people that make these games. It's funny I got that up there because that was certain uh, uh, that one link about the predestination links. I, I kinda accidentally come by that. Cause I put I put in the word predestinate because I knew there was some scriptures on it and then that come up so you so you've it's easy to watch not these elites anyway so I'm gonna play the clip again and end it on the clip you know it's like even Shakespeare said they're talking about Shakespeare well didn't Shakespeare say the world is a stage and we're just the players he, he said that he said that bro and no it's funny that they're quoting Shakespeare in the thing as well so you gotta you gotta read between the lines Like I said, there's many other scriptures that I could bring out on this, but I think I made the point. So Esau knows, man. I mean, there was certain else that was in my head. It kind of slipped my mind. But um, I'm going to try and put, I'm going to try and do some more uh, media clips and stuff to show you Esau knows the truth. You know, um, you know, there was a clip that we put, put up from the intruders where there was chariots flying around and Esau pretty much said, look, man, um, that that was, the, that's the, 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 the sergeant said, look, just say it was a meteor. And when he left the base, he called up some general or whatever the hell 
And he said, or the, some elites or whatever, he said, look, we just, there's a confirmed angel. So he saw Knowles, you know, and like I said, he puts it in these medias and these games. But what's the end of Esau? The, the scripture says Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So that is the future, man. The future's in the book of Revelations. It's all throughout it's all throughout the the, the, the word, the, the Sapara Muff, the, the the holy book, you know. Um and the elect great millstone here, yeah, we got the mysteries of it, teaching the people, starting with the apostles. So with that, shalom, you know. <laughs>